How to use motion controls and flick stick on Overwatch on PC. First download and install Battle.net. Open Battle.net and install Overwatch. Open settings and copy what you see on screen right now. Done. Close Battle.net. Open Steam. Go to your library. Add a non-Steam game. Before hitting play, right click, properties, and delete the launcher front of the battle.net. Click OK, hit play, connect your controller, open Overwatch. Once the game opens, hit play, go to training and practice range. Select any character. Now use the controller to see if everything is working. Go to options, controls, put your sensitivity to 6%. On the bindings, put your jump to LB, your interact to A, your ability tree to Y, your ability 2 to RB, and your ability 1 to left analog click. Now we activate motion controls. Press the home button, go to controller configuration, and activate gyro as a mouse. Put acceleration on low, gyro always on, sensitivity put whatever feels best for you. A vertical sensitivity scale I'll put all the way up. I don't like smoothing. Joystick move won't give us enough speed, so I change the flick stick. The flick the click action is the RS and the sensitivity is a very specific number that I will put soon. Click turn tightness I like to lower it a little bit. I don't like to have inner and outer dead zones because this will create a slow flick turn. I don't like slow flick turns. I'll put no snap. A front angle dead zone I'll put it to max. In additional settings, I'll leave it at default. And to get the sensitivity right, you do a cool trick. Press the window key, and left click on your Battle.net controller layout. And here you see the Steam Deck menu. And the correct value is 9091. Okay. Done. Everything is fine. Cool. Oh. Now, go to the game. Boom. Gyro is enabled. And click stick is perfectly aligned. Okay, so let's set the other bindings. This, the trackpad will be select. It will be H, so we can change our character. Right? Now we can change our heroes. Yes, we can change our heroes. Now, we don't want Gyro to be active all the time, so let's figure that out. We'll add an action layer called the Gyro Off. In this action layer, we change the Gyro to Directional Pad, leave it blank, and we set the RS click to when we hold the RS, we will disable Gyro. So we press Select. We add an activator, we put a long press, and the binding will be the hold action layer. We hold the action layer, which action layer? Gyro off action layer. And this long press time, just two points up, no more, no less. And now we can set gyro off. Cool. But there is one more problem. We need to use this. And using gyro for this isn't the best. We can create another action layer. This time we'll call D-pad. Okay. And on this action layer, we will change flick stick to joystick move. The click action will be RS again and gyro will be disabled so directional pad again and what we want to do now 
on every button on the d-pad you want to hold the action layer so we just do the same thing that we did with the gyro off action layer so we add an activator we put uh, long press actually we don't need a long press be just a regular press two regular presses then and this will be hold action layer right hold action layer okay d-pad okay let's see if the, if it worked we hit up now we can set with the analog the stickers now just to be 100% sure I will add an action set call it menus and I will copy this action set we just did I should have done that earlier so now I have to delete all the other regular presses I will remove this and the joystick will be just a joystick move and the click action will be RS cool cool the gyro will be disabled completely and the mute button will change the action sets to menu action set and from menu to the default one okay everything seems all right now I can use motion controls I can jump I can run I can use my abilities cool I can change heroes okay and if we don't want this disgusting disgusting cursor on the screen you can just hit the mute button and the mute button will change to full controller so now we can go around menus without gyro in the way remember you can import all of my configurations i will always leave the configuration in the community tab on steam and that's it goodbye thanks for watching